Welcome everybody. Welcome to Claydesk. My name is Syed and today exciting topic. I'm going to be talking about what is your career path going to be moving forward in 2022. Now if you're just jumping into the cloud technology field or industry then this video is for you because you will get to learn three major cloud platforms and of course I'm talking about AWS which is Amazon Web Services then Google Cloud Platform, also known as GCP, and of course, Microsoft Azure. So I'm going to be talking very briefly about these three just to get you started and evaluate all these three career paths so that you have a better understanding of your existing skill set and where you want to be and which one to choose. So let's dive right in and let's first take a look at AWS. So the question is why and how to pursue a career in AWS. So whether you're already an experienced IT professional, either seeking to take your career in a new direction or new to cloud computing as a fresher or IT for that matter, there are several reasons why you should consider AWS. And of course, I'm just gonna highlight the important ones. Well, first, of course, we know that AWS is the number one used public cloud platform. What that means is, of course, is leading the pack when it comes to public cloud computing. And if you consider infrastructure as a service, just one segment of the public cloud market, AWS quickly leads the market. And, you know, the statistics shows that 33% of the IaaS market segment is held by AWS. So there you go. That's a big, big chunk, which is almost as much as held by the two next two leading you know, providers combined like Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud Platform. And not only that, AWS market share, of course, is showing signs of enormous growth in other areas besides infrastructure as a service. So that's, of course, the number one reason, right? Number two, let's take a look at AWS is certainly the fastest growing cloud platform. And, you know, because of the fact that it has many, many advantages. So AWS took maximum advantage of this lead and has been the fastest growing public cloud you know service since 2006 by the way and it continues to show tremendous growth and is predicted to increase from 42% in 2017 to 52% in 2020 which already it has and third and more importantly why you want to choose AWS as your career path moving forward right so it's the demand for AWS job outstrips available professionals that's the key. It's just demand and supply. So in the public cloud job market, there are between six to 12 times more job postings available than there are job seekers. And 60% of these job postings are AWS related. And employers, by the way, in the US, for example, say that it's quite a challenge finding professionals with cloud computing skills in general. So that's, yeah, that's key, right? So get into AWS, get a couple of certifications, and boom, you're ready to jump into the market. It's easy entry, right? So that's important. All right, so how to learn AWS? Well, there are many, many courses. There are free resources out there right here on our YouTube channel. We have full courses. You can check those out if you want to become the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner or AWS Certified Solutions Architect. Either way, there are many, many all certifications right here on YouTube are free. So you can take those courses and, of course, Get yourself all hands-on and ready to take the certifications and pursue a career path in AWS. So choosing the career path that suits you best. Now within AWS, of course, there are many, many paths, the paths that you can actually pursue, right? So if you want to become a developer associate or a solutions architect or the just a cloud practitioner, which is the entry level, right? And there are certain role-based and specialty-based certifications as well, like advanced networking specialty or machine learning and so on. So as you move forward, you take your first step and then you evaluate and find out your next course of action. And of course, there are many, many certifications out there that you can explore. You can certainly visit our blog or AWS site as well. Another thing I want to talk about is, of course, the pay, right? So the salary for an AWS certified individual outperforms um, all of the salaries, right? Pretty much. So that's also another motivating factor for you to choose AWS. All right, enough about AWS. I wanted to cover that. So evaluate all of this and then take a look at all the resources that we have. And then you can decide whether AWS is the right choice for you or not.
Next is the Google Cloud certification, which is pretty awesome because Google Cloud certification simply validates your expertise and showcase your ability to transform businesses with Google Cloud technology. But why do you want to get cloud certified, right? Why do you want to get into GCP? Well, the first reason, of course, is 87% of Google Cloud certified individuals are more confident about their cloud skills. Professional data engineer topped the list of highest paying IT certifications for 2021 with professional cloud architect following in second. So that's one of the other reasons, right? As opposed to AWS. And more than one in four of Google Cloud certified individuals took on more responsibility of leadership roles at work. So there's more easy access to upgrading your you know, job, for example. Now, which Google Cloud certification is right for you? Well, there are primarily three, right? There are foundational level certifications, there's associate level certification, there's professional level certifications. The foundation level simply validates broad knowledge of Google concepts and cloud products, services, tools, features, benefits, use cases, specifically understanding the capabilities of Google Cloud, which is, of course, an, a good entry point if you wish to jump into Google Cloud. Associate certification level simply focusing on the fundamental skills of deploying, monitoring, maintaining projects on Google Cloud. So now you have hands-on, you need to know hands-on how to actually use the GCP platform. And then, of course, we have the professional certification, which span key technical job functions and assess advanced skills in design, implementation, and management. And that, of course, comes through experience once you get to the next level as you progress further. So one of the top most or most popular GCP certification is the Associate Cloud Engineer or the ACE. So what does an Associate Cloud Engineer do? Well, Google defines basically the Associate Engineer as someone who deploys applications, monitor operations of multiple projects, and maintains enterprise solutions simply to ensure that they meet the target performance metrics, right? So these individuals, they have experience working with public clouds and on-premise solutions. And they're also able to use Google Cloud Console and the command line interface, known as the CLI, to perform common platform-based tasks to maintain one or more deployed solutions that leverage Google Managed or self-managed services on Google Cloud. So that's really what the ACE or Associate Cloud Engineer does. Now, to pass this certification, of course, you need to have the knowledge of both the GUI interface of GCP platform as well as the command line um, also, right? So this certification focuses on the most important foundation of Google Cloud. It includes all of the critical building blocks for systems, processing, remembering, and moving data around, right? So that's really the key. So if you want to get into GCP, then that's the career path that you wish to pursue moving forward in 2022. All right, let's move on to Azure certification, which is Microsoft's product growing platform. So I want to talk about Azure as well. So Microsoft Azure is also a cloud platform similar to AWS and Google Cloud. So if you're wondering what's the best Microsoft Azure certi certification path for you or which Azure certifications you should get, well, let's dive right in and take a look at what are the best options for your career path moving in 2022. Regarding the Microsoft Azure certifications, so if you're wondering again what Microsoft Azure is and where to begin or where to go next in your cloud career, of course, you can take a look at the courses that we have right here on our YouTube channel, full courses that allow you to not only take a look at what Microsoft Azure is, but also do hands-on labs, right? So yeah, go take a look at those. There are about 16 Azure cloud certifications and you know they, they keep growing and they're building, but more popular are fundamental level certifications or the associate level certification the expert level certifications and the specialty certification. That's how they have categorized all these certifications as far as Microsoft Azure is concerned. So why should you get Azure Cloud certified, right? If you wanna choose this career path moving forward in 2022. So if you're thinking of you know, getting some cloud certification, well, that's pretty good, right? Whether it's AWS, GCP or Azure, but let, let's take a look at why Azure, right? But if the certification you see um, is Microsoft Azure, then you need to know what path is best for you. Of course, there's no single best Microsoft Azure certification path for everyone, 
and getting started in the cloud can be overwhelming but you start from the basics you start from step one so and and the step one for microsoft azure when you're moving forward in this particular um, area is something to consider as the microsoft azure either the architect learning path or the data learning path or the devops learning path the security learning path and the developer learning path popular one is of course the devops learning path so after completing the microsoft azure devops path you'll definitely have the core hands-on knowledge and skills to deliver higher quality automated deployments to azure more frequently and securely and once you've got the azure basics down you'll learn how to set up and use the azure tools and services that underpin devops processes and this includes automation containerization and preparing for your developer and administrator associate certification as well so this forms the basis right from there then you will learn the specialized devops services and processes that work best with microsoft azure and prepare you for devops expert certification so again this gradual increment as you move forward and to crown it off you'll develop the applied azure architecture skills that a guru devops practitioner needs and these flexible paths let you skip what you know and start at the appropriate lesson. So whether you're a total beginner or looking to take your Azure DevOps skills to the next level. And that's really the key. All right, so I've covered AWS Career Path, GCP, and then Microsoft Azure moving forward in 2022. So you gotta choose which one, right? Now let's conclude. What I've found is the fact that it's easier to work with AWS as a fresher. So if you're new, yes it's easier to or recommended also by team Cladask and ourselves because many many of students have they've gotten back to us we've gotten feedback from them and they say that aws is certainly by far is a little bit easier to jump into of course not to say that gcp and azure are not equally good they're certainly equally good but as you get experience you certainly dive into cross-platform skills right you need to enhance your skills not just with aws but gcp and azure as well but to start with, yeah, AWS is it. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope this gives you a sense of your career path. What are you gonna choose in 2022? Let me know in comments. And if you have any questions, of course, I'll be happy to answer. If you have any specific questions, please post your questions in the comment below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends. My name is Syed, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.